everybody. We're going <laughs> to attempt another neighborhood um, workout. We're going to do yoga today, and since I'm not a good, uh, I'm, since I'm not a yoga instructor, um, my neighbor Chantal it, uh, does know how to do yoga, so we're going to do some with her today. So I was just going to show everybody in the neighborhood that's here again, uh, just to give them kudos if I can. Oh, I'm have to do it this way. All right, I think I got you. Yeah, and then we got over there. It might be glary. And there's a couple missing. They're going to be coming. And then there's Chantal. Yay! All right, so we're going to set you down. And we're going to do the best we can at what we got today. We got a very bright, sunny day, so it's adding some glare. All right, hit it, Chantal. Alright, so for those of you here and uh, for the video if you're watching this later, oh, oh, can't do that one. please make sure to start with either bare feet on a mat or uh, tennis shoes on the mat, the ground, whatever it is about, a little bit about traction. Or if you have your yoga socks, people, I mean those, those are, bar socks. <laughs> are okay as well. Okay. So we're going to start off in a seated position. Just do cross-legged position, traditional hands up, and we're going to start with a yoga breath. So it's in through the nose, it's very nasally in the back of the throat, okay? okay. Inhale, uh, exhale, make sure it's a very throaty, almost guttural sound. Inhale. Like I'm snoring? Exhale, kind of like you're snoring. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. So she wouldn't know. So inhale, exhale. Purpose of this is to get the blood flowing up through your back. Sit straight up. Dallas Leaser, Royce, straight up. Almost arch your back. Again, inhale, exhale. All right. Get to a kneel, kneeling position. I promise for those of you with bad knees, uh, we won't be on our knees much. If it helps, put a pad under your knees to elevate just slightly. We're going to do the same thing and breathe. Palms up. Sit straight up. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure with every breath that you're pulling your shoulders back and you're elongating your arms down into your legs. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we're gonna start our warm up. You get really warm really fast. So we're gonna start with a vinyasa, which is a combination of plank, uh, downward dog, upward dog, okay. back to downward dog. So no downward dog. <laughs> everybody on all fours, Curl your toes into the mat. Put your rear up, up in the air. Set it back. Try to go as far back on your heels as possible and your palms slightly in front of your shoulders. Now, if you can't go that far back, don't worry about it. Only go as far as you can go. Okay? Walk back into a plank. Straight, arms straight up now, almost right below your shoulders. Straight line everybody's body. Okay. Slowly lower down. All the way down to the stomach. Now up for cobra pose. Or upward dog, sorry. Down. Back up into downward dog. Push up and back. Walk your feet in slightly. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times. Mm -hmm. All right, back up. Plank, down all the way. Back up. Don't forget to breathe. Down, downward dog. Downward dog's my favorite. <laughs> this opens up your back and really gets the blood flowing. 
couple breaths. Okay, back to plank. Slowly lower down. Up to upward dog. Back down. <laughs> Downward dog. Okay, while you're in downward dog, slowly walk yourself up to your hands or as close as possible. Stay down in this position, bent over, interlock your arms, let your head rest all the way down. Slowly come up vertebra by vertebra. Head down until you get almost all the way up. Shrug your shoulders back. If you get a little lightheaded, that's normal. Put your head back down if you are. Otherwise, put your arms back and breathe. Okay, we're gonna go into a sun salutation. This is a bit complicated for those of you that have never done yoga. So, everybody mountain pose is when you basically spread your toes and you really want to align your big toes but that your feet are really straight like that i almost touch okay i almost touch my big toes so if you have shoes on you're probably touching your shoes the focus of mountain pose is to ground you you should feel every area of your foot on the ground and then you are elongating and centering your body all the way from the hips all the way to your shoulders to your head in a neutral position okay prayer position arms up overhead if you just want to watch the first one that's fine up overhead that's an inhale exhale bend down pull yourself up against your legs Exhale, inhale, push up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, hands in front of you in the up position, so arched back. Yep. <laughs> Legs as straight as possible, but certainly only as much as you can, so bend your knees if this is a little tight walk yourself back to plank down okay. good. down is good <laughs> okay so to get back up we're basically gonna just get up and walk yourself back up to your hands inhale exhale into back into prayer position so we're gonna do that at least two more times. If you okay. don't feel warmed up after that, then we'll do it maybe one more time. But it's a long salutation. So, prayer <laughs> position, inhale, exhale, bend over. Inhale, push front. Exhale, bend or pull into your calves, into your body. Exhale, hands on the floor. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down to the floor. <laughs> Inhale, stand up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, back to prayer position. So that one was a little bit faster. How are we doing? Good. All right. So again, one more, at least a little bit faster. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, face up. Exhale down. Inhale, forward position, hands on the floor. Exhale, plank. All the way down. Inhale back up. 
exhale, inhale all the way up. Exhale into prayer. <laughs> if you don't inhale, exhale exactly when I do, that's probably okay. You kind of get a rhythm, but make sure that you are doing nice long breaths, okay? One more. Prayer position, inhale up. Exhale all the way down. Chin into, into knees. Inhale, head up. Exhale into knees. Inhale, hands out. Exhale, plank. Really, it should be exhale all the way down. <laughs> all right, inhale up. Inhale up, exhale back to prayer. You want one more? No. Okay. <laughs> That's a big no. Okay. That was a, that was a no in unison. That was a hard no. Okay, well, if you didn't like that, you're probably not going to like this one, but we'll only do this for a second. And then it's kind of a little bit of a break. So, again, start off in mountain pose. Bend down as if you're going to go into downward dog. Just walk your hands forward slightly. Lift up your right leg. You Heel up in the air, toes closest coming to your body. Pointing to your body. Hold. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and do a couple pulses. Do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Down. Other leg, other side. Up. Hold in that position. Breathe. Pulse to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. All right, down to your knees. Sit back into child's pose. Okay, head <laughs> down to the mat. <laughs> Is everybody's heart pumping? Yep. Oh yeah, I'm nice and warm. <laughs> Your hips will be better for it. If you want to sit up, if you want to take another second, that's fine too. I tend to like to sit to get my blood back for one second. Oh, got sissy hot. She's <laughs> taking off some layers, people. All right, go ahead to a standing position into mountain pose. All right, prayer position, hands up, inhale, exhale back to prayer position, couple more, inhale, exhale to prayer position, just make sure after a rest you get your blood going without too much heart rate, Okay. back up, exhale back in. And the work begins again, people. Okay. All right, we're gonna go into tree position. This is where if you don't have great balance, don't worry about it. I will fall, you will fall. If you really feel uncomfortable, grab a chair. So you start off in mountain position. Pull up your right leg. Use your hand to stabilize yourself at first. Your opposite hand out for balance if you choose. If you can, once you're stabilized, either put your arms all the way up or into prayer position. Does it help getting your socks off? No, my, my no. sweats are slick. I could see better with my they get the socks on too. If you topple, just come back up. <laughs> I do it in class. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, she's got she's got non-slicky sweat. All right, let's switch legs. Switch legs. So if you did the right side, you're now doing the left, which is my non-dominant. I'm going to fall a lot more. And mine are slick too, yeah. If you're wearing slick pants, this doesn't help. If you are wearing slick pants, just go up against your knee. All right. It's where you can stabilize, breathe. Pretty good on my bad foot. Inhale. Exhale. Good, I think I saw this in Karate Kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back down into mountain position. Okay, we're going to sit back as if you're sitting in a chair. Again, just like when you're doing a normal squat, you don't want your knees to go in front of your, your toes. Okay. So you sit back, arms up. Twist to the side, right, whichever hand, <laughs> I, I have my right hand down. Breathe. This again opens up your chest and a little bit, it gives you that lower back movement. I don't think it opens up my chest at all. <laughs> <laughs> every breath, try to move your, your arm that's in the air, every breath, try to move it back a little bit further. Okay, other side. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I think you're first. I know. Six feet away. We're six feet away. All right, both hands down to the mat. Yoga's hard. Go you ahead and straighten your legs. And turn sideways on your mat. Spread those legs to whatever your comfort, comfort level in. It's about grip of your feet, and uh, but a little bit of stretch in your leg, okay? I know. We're gonna do a similar one, so hands on the mat. Same thing, right arm in the air. What? Good job, Dallas, you're looking good. You look like the poster child for this one. <laughs> You're all limber, Royce. Okay, <laughs> hands down to the mat. Stand straight for a second. Adjust. Left arm in the air. Now you should be feeling it on the inside of your legs on the opposite side of, of your arm. That's a perfect description. Oh, and the hamstrings today. Okay, hands back down to the ground. Put your hands on your knees. Okay, right leg, point out. Left leg, should remain. Put your knee over your ankle. Which one am I doing? Okay. <laughs> I had to forget. Okay, this arm, or right arm on your knee. Other arm in the air. You should get a nice side stretch in. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, left arm back down, right arm up in the air, other way. Keep your front, your right leg bent though, so other way. Oh, I gotta remember this one for class. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a really nice stretch. Get your other yeah, arm off of your, there you, there you go. No, you did it opposite, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, back up. Stretched. All right, now we're gonna stay with our feet the same, except now turn your rear leg forward into a lunge, basically. We're gonna come down. Put your left arm on the right side of your foot. Yep. Woohoo! Arm up. Aye, aye, aye. 
<laughs> is it still a lunge or is it straight lunge? It is a, a lunge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard her fall. Oh. Oh, boy, that was fun. All right, Frank, doing that Frank one? barbecuing. That's a tough one. Okay, <laughs> arm down. <laughs> That's a problem with exercise and smelling barbecue. That's yes, it is. Okay, back up. Back up. Now the other side. Ooh, yay. I like this. Thought. This is this. I like these. So Me again, too. now left foot forward, but keep your right foot still kind of perpendicular to the, to the mat. These are good. Mm -hmm. Now remember your left leg over your ankle. Left arm on your knee. Oh, yeah, Stretch I over. Stretch over. My hip. Okay. My oblique. My oblique. My oblique. much more calmness to it. <laughs> okay, back up other way. Bring the other arm back over. Keep your left leg bent over your ankle. Now remember, keep your hips in alignment though. Don't tilt, tilt your hips over a certain way. Dallas, you're you're asking for a low back injury. <laughs> I do some A for effort here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tuck, tuck your butt forward. That's the only way I know how to describe it. <laughs> All right, back up. Okay, here comes that hill in the Yeah. That's the lunge. Okay. Stay in the lunge position. Turn your foot. All the way around now. Left leg is still lunging over your left ankle. Hands down. Now your right hand on the left side of your foot, twist up. <laughs> Did you fall over? That is if I don't fall over. If you can't quite go on the other side of your foot, it's okay. Stick it on the side, that makes it easier. But to get a better stretch, try to put it on the other side of your foot. I had to widen my stance too. Oh, that's Well, the closer, just like, the further out your legs are, the more bound. All right. Stability. Back up into mountain position. Okay, get nice and centered on your mat. Put your right <laughs> leg and twist it around. If you can't hook it, just go ahead and point your toe to the mat. Okay, so if your right leg is over, then your left arm is twisting under your right arm. Oh, there it is. Like that? Try to touch palms if you can. That's okay, though. Okay. Sorry, that's not that. That is not. Sorry. Okay. My hand don't even touch. Now sit. That's it. No, no, I'm going to try. That's easier, Dallas. Feel it in your back, the stretch in your back. In between your shoulders, and now your glutes, your toes. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Sit, young man. <laughs> oh, calf. Oh. <laughs> no, we got a flapper. Oh no! Sorry, people. Oh, I the wind blew. Okay, okay, yeah, we can come okay, up, good. walk it out a little bit. Walk it out, Wayne. Walk there it you out, walk it move out. your arms, shake your arms around a bit. <laughs> Gets a little tight. It's like a revival. Back to mountain position. <laughs> now your left leg over, toes into the ground. Now your right arm underneath your left. This one might get tricky for me and my shoulder. <laughs> if you do have a shoulder injury, certainly don't do that. Just cross your arms. Or hold them out like that into an extended prayer. Now sit. Bend your knees. <laughs> Can I just turn the video on you, Dallas? <laughs> I know. <laughs> It'll make so many people feel good. Bend your knees, Bob. Not just your back. Keep your back straight. And actually, you keep your back straight through this. You try not to curve your back over you know don't hunch it over oh, try to keep hunching. your back straight sorry well i was watching the boys over there they were super okay. hunchy i feel straight <laughs> okay 
actually down on the ground. Go ahead and kneel. If you want to do a little quick child's pose, that's okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> There's disgruntled between the neighbors. Actually, it's the family, not the neighbors. <laughs> really, the family. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the purpose of this pose is to stretch your arms, your back, but relax. Okay, head into the mat. Forehead into the mat. But now it's too late. So on your belly. <laughs> <laughs> you missed now it. We're done. Now we're done. done. On your belly. Okay. <laughs> Hands back by your hips. Okay, face up. Push your hands into the mat, back of the hand, into the mat, lift your legs, point your toes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Do you squeeze your belly button into the mat? You squeeze your belly but into the mat, but really you squeeze your hips into yeah. the mat. Okay, that's what I feel. Really more. sink your pelvic into the mat, toes up, point it out. Head up. You can use your arms to resist against the mat to hold yourself up more. Okay, relax for a second. Exhale. No. Okay, back up. Feet up. Hands into the mat. Head up. Pelvic bone should really be, yeah. your hips and your lower belly should really be into the mat right now. Okay, relax. Sorry, dude, we took your I know, driveway. we took your driveway, thank you. All right, up just onto to basically your feet right now but almost still in a seated position. We took your spot, sorry dude. We actually left the mat for so you So crouch dude. down, toes into the mat. Yeah, There's your spot. Crouch down, toes into the mat. Yeah, right here. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> We're gonna yeah. Okay, elbows, elbows into your knees, into a prayer position. Lower your shoulders, make sure they're not coming up, and push, push your arms against your knees. It should really, you should really yeah. feel this in a stretch in your upper back. Now, are you pushing your legs out? Or are you pushing I'm pushing my elbows? legs in, oh, but okay. I'm pushing out with my elbows. Oh, yeah, now I feel it. Oh, yeah, you feel it clear through. Okay, make, sh make sure that your back is straight, though. Okay? When you're flat foot, you feel it in your calves, too. <laughs> Well, we know I can't go flat foot. <laughs> okay. Back onto your bum. Oh, I like bum. Bum, bum, bum. Legs out. If you don't like hundreds, you're not going to like this one. If you don't like what? Hundreds. I know, I know what that is. Bend your yeah, you feet up. Yesterday. Yes. <laughs> oh, feet Grab your toes if you're barefoot. If you're not, grab the whole tips of your feet like that. Yeah. Up. Oh, Jesus. Holy <laughs> poly. This doesn't look like it's going to end well. <laughs> you topple. It's okay. It's okay. We're both roly poly. That's because we're straightening our legs more. That's why, sissy. Yep, if you have to, just hold like sissy. The palm of your foot. <laughs> your ankles count? Don't hold my ankles. That's fine. Hold your ankles, whatever you can do. Okay. But or the just point bend your, is... Bend your knees a little more and then you don't roll. Yeah, That's bend your knees a little bit so you don't roll back. <laughs> if you don't have <laughs> the balance or core strength, just hold it out. That's okay. Just hold what you can do. <laughs> This is kind of fun though. There we go. Oh, I've had it. I feel like my legs are 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm liking this rolling pole. Leg right. straight out. Back straight up. I like that one actually. Your hands on the floor right next to your bum. Feet pulled back towards you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now this is very subtle. What you want to be doing is pushing through your heels so that you feel like your legs are being elongated forward. Okay. And then you're kind of doing the same thing with from your shoulders down through your arms. You want to push it down, hold your back straight up. It's very subtle. Yeah. Actually, it's hard. Yeah. It is hard. Yeah. I feel it. Because my, st I don't, my arms. Yeah. Remember to breathe. Inhale. Didn't they use arms go longer than their body? Exhale. Yeah, mine feels shorter. That's why I'm trying to push. Okay, we made it this far. We're going to go into a cool down now. Yeah. Wow, already? Nice. All right. <laughs> so, left leg under you, Ooh. right leg over you. As much as you can, or at least touching your bum if you can, okay? I think I'm a little sore from left. Yeah, I feel it now. Arm yeah. up, left arm up. Which oh, arm. Just Twist to the right yeah, over. That, now your right arm, go as far back as you can and pull back. Oh, just nice. ever so slightly. Inhale, exhale, pull back a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, pull back a little bit more. Ooh, great spinal. Yeah. Yes, your back, if your back is popping, that's a good sign. You're getting a good stretch and you needed to do this today. Inhale, exhale, one more inhale. On your exhale, come back around, release your legs in front of you. Let that sit, just kind of move your legs around, your bum, your shoulders. Oh, that was a nice stretch. It feels yeah, so long on one side now. <laughs> okay, other side. Once you're not having to check our positions. Yeah. <laughs> so, left foot over the right knee. Wow, do you guys feel your bum from yesterday? Huh? You're right arm tomorrow. up in the air. All the way down to your left leg, side of your left leg if possible, and your left arm all the way behind you. Look that direction as you stretch. Inhale. Exhale, try to move it further. Oh, you girls make it look so easy. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Inhale. It's just like half turned around. Little Exhale. Devil. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Everybody's different limber. You're yeah, everybody has a different. Oh, our our, our flap. Our flap oh, again. Flap's flapped. Flapped. Sorry, it's we keep wind. flapping here. That wind keeps going. We're good there though. We go. All Just right. Exhale. Come forward. Hey, they wouldn't know it's my video. Well, Tori's more happened. relaxed. She had margaritas last night. Bounce it out. <laughs> That's totally what it was. She had margaritas. <laughs> I think we need more tonight. Okay, all the way laying on your back on the mat. You may want to scoot your head all the way to the edge of your mat here. You can order plenty. No, just to the top of the mat. Okay, you may want to bend your left knee at first. Dallas, I turn around because you're bring going your, downhill. Bring your right leg up and grab your foot or your toe or your ankle and pull it all as far back as you can. Ooh, baby. You want a straight leg? If you can and you're that limber, okay. straighten your lower leg. That's really good. Oh, oh, oh. straighten the lower leg. Oh, that's that oh. That a huge difference. Yay. Huge. Who knew? That's Free. a good one. This is a good one. You should really feel this stretch because this is where we hold our stretch, is in the back of your hamstrings and your pelvic bone, and of course your neck and shoulders, but. Well, we have the jab. You have to put that hook to pull it in. 
Okay, bring all of your knees into your chest. Only one. <laughs> all of your knees. All of your knees. All, all the Meaning all of two. <laughs> okay, opposite. So right leg down, left leg up. Look at that. 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 That's okay, you can keep it. Just make sure that you're really getting that hamstring stretch and your hips to stretch out. Okay, <laughs> now take that left leg and swing it all the way to the side. holding it if you can. <laughs> if you can't, hold behind your knee. Make sure your pelvic bone, though, oh, is as flat on the on the oh. mat as possible. So only oh. open as Do far not as twist. As only open as far oh. as you can go. Okay, well, then I will just start over again. Okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, I went too far. Oh, yeah, if you have to, bend that, that leg and pull your um, knee up to basically your armpit. It does a similar thing, but make sure that your leg is out. Look, Deb, look at me. <laughs> and I apologize, I forgot to do this one on the other side, so we're going to switch. So we're moving back. Bounce it out for a second, but then we're going to switch back to the right. Okay, when you get your leg up there, turn it to the side. Yeah, this side. is a great inner thigh stretch. Yeah. Wow, baby. Woo! Oh. Look at your hamstrings, too. Yeah. Really do a, do this one, one I can do this side much easier. No, bend your knee. If it, if it hurts your knees, bend your knee. You should be getting the stretch really inside on the inside of your leg. Sorry, everybody. It's so beginning. I had my phone off, but I guess I did it. Okay, everybody down, onto your side. I'm going to start on my right side. Okay, so hips straight straight up and down, meaning your, your pelvic bone is stacked on top of the other pelvic bone. But this is where it gets complicated. Make sure that these stay and have them say, stay straight out. But you want to jackknife slightly so your butt back here to the edge of your mat, your toes to the opposite edge of the mat. Okay, like that. Okay, now pull your right arm or whatever, your lower arm, all the way out, okay. and then pull your other arm the oh. opposite direction. Oh, yes. But oh. leave your hips upward, right? This and leave your hips stacked on top of each other on oh, the this side. this is nice. Lower back stretch, like this one. And your chest. Yeah, totally. Breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, come back up, switch sides. Take your time, this is a cool down. So again, the back of your bum should be at the edge of your mat. Your feet should be at the opposite edge and your legs should be straight. Okay, but your bottom shoulder and arm should come all the way under you and out and your opposite arm all the way back to the other side. Whenever you're ready, just come onto your back. 
if you need to pull your knees up, pull your knees up, get that lower back stretched out a little bit. This is, this is cool down. This is cool down. Okay, so now feet spread out apart, but straight out. Okay. Wiggle your feet side to side. Bounce your legs. I nailed this one. <laughs> Wayne's let, got it. Let your that. legs relax completely. Now put your hips side to side. Let that relax. Now your shoulders and your back move side to side. Move your shoulders down away from your ears. Pull your arms down. Relax your shoulders. Now just wiggle your hands enough to where your arms can get in a good position. Now we're in the corpse pose, my favorite thing in yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I often find people falling asleep in this exercise. So inhale slowly, exhale slowly, and just relax, close your eyes, Move your head to make sure your neck's in a comfortable position. <laughs> Think of the blue sky. Look at the blue sky. Your eyes are so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> your eyes are so beautiful. You know, I almost said we should do it in my backyard because it's like long enough that we could have all. We can do that next time. Yeah. Well, the backyard's not hilly. It's just right near the ditch. If you feel ready, you can get up slowly and go back into a lotus, half lotus position. So this time you actually put one, your, your feet, one foot on top of your other leg and our flat closed yeah. again. Yeah. Darn it. Sorry for the flapping. We need a rock for that side too. All right. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay, palms up in the air on top of your knees. I naturally let my fingers go, but if you want to put your fingers in the traditional lotus position, you can. But I let mine make sure to sit up tall relax neck and just breathe I like to close my eyes and I this may be a bit weird but it helps me meditate is I imagine different colors I'll go through like the color wheel or the colors of the rainbow and if you kind of focus on a different color on the back of your eyelids you'll kind of notice that you actually start seeing that color even though your eyes are not open and if you breathe slowly, it kind of flickers like a flame. And just let it relax. And you should feel centered relaxed but worked out. You can do this for as long as you want. Uh, <laughs> I think he's done. Messing with my for the my young knee. kid over there, yes, we're done. You can you can get up and move whenever you want. For the four year old. <laughs> Kidding. Can I do the other side? Not really. <laughs> If you like want, I'm, if you want. I feel like I need to. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. Namaste, Namaste, sweetie. Now you have to give yourself untwine. Oh, there oh goes do this. Do a little bend over like this, if you can. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. I actually felt my back more than anything. 
film the workout last night. Yeah, I'm filming my, uh, yeah, my uh, glutes. <laughs> <laughs> your glutes? My glutes maximuses. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you, Chantal. Oh, nice I job. Well. Hello, everybody. I, I felt a bit rusty, but... You did great. You did Hello, job. everybody. Look, they're still alive. Oh. Yay. They're we still alive. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you did the whole thing, didn't you? All right. We'll see you later. I hope you enjoy it.